Charlton footballer accused of hotel rape could be forced to stay in a visa for months. Two men including a Charlton athletic player probed over an alleged a visa hotel rape may be forced to remain on the island for months, it emerged on Monday. A lawyer acting for Charlton striker Rico Hackett Fairchild will try to overturn bail conditions later this week which included the handover of his passport and a ban on leaving the island. But if his appeal fails he and non-footballer Alusola Ajayi, 26, could face a months-long fight to clear their names and return home even if they end up escaping prosecution. Charlton's Carlina and Grant, 20 is accused of a privacy offense and has been allowed to return home. A Spanish National Police spokesman said last week after the first two arrests, National Police officers arrested two English men on Tuesday, June 12, in San Jose in Avisa as the suspected authors of a sex attack. The parents of the 19-year-old victim, who is also British, reported the incident to police. It would appear the victim and a female friend of hers who were on holiday in a visa with the victim's parents, went to San Antonio on Monday afternoon and met several lads from a football team in the UK in a bar there. Both women agreed to go back with some of the men to the hotel they were staying at, in the municipality of San Jose. Once they were in a room, one of the youngsters was allegedly sexually attacked by one of the players while a second took hold of her and a third recorded her on a mobile phone. After the incident, the visibly affected victim and her friend left the hotel to go back to the woman's parents. The victim's parents quickly suspected something was wrong and after discovering what had happened, went to speak to the national police. National police officers went to the hotel where those allegedly responsible for the sex attack were staying, and subsequently arrested two men. The police investigations are ongoing and further arrests in the coming hours have not been ruled out. The spokesman confirmed the third arrest last Thursday morning, describing the detainee as a 26-year-old British national. A Charlton Athletic spokesman said, Due to the ongoing investigation we will not be commenting any further at this stage.